I do feel like that seems a little bit long-winded, of honestly. Like, it takes a while for Kanoe to actually give the keyword, uh, and a lot of it is just, oh yeah, we're gonna go fight uh, Kanoe and all that. Like, I feel like they could have condensed that a bit. But here we are in Osaka, so yeah, we are finally out of the plot tunnel of Doom. We now finally have access to a town for the first time since, uh, since, uh, since, uh, since Sapporo. Sorry, I keep, I don't know why, why do I forget the name of that town? Also, a lot of people really like this song. I don't know if I'm, like, the biggest fan of it. I think it's called something like Security Show. Buzz, Freedom Buzz Dance or something. However, here's the thing, we're going to have side quests, and one of them involves food. Well, actually there's only three side quests, but, but still. I'm going to go ahead and check these requests. So we've got Sophia's Weapon Shop Redux, defeat Neko Shogun with a Phantom Dash, that's pretty easy in Beckoning Cat Square. Sophia's Armor Shop Redux, defeat Copper Tang with Wolf, great for his, uh, his Master Art. Oh, we have this. Our first Thief's Challenge. The Thief's Challenge ones, while every other request I can just cut to, this one I want to show in full, because for these, you have to reach a specific place in the jail without using quick travel and without increasing the security level. These can be a little tough. To to the first one's not too bad, though. But for now, uh, he did say that, they did say Zenkichi, uh, we kind of want to talk to him. Is that the place where the hero of that one show gets shot? In fact, I think that actually this bridge is... is where... is in Yakuza 0, I think. Ah, uh, yes, that just reminds me of, um... Wait, hang on. I go, Do Dotenbori River. Oh yeah, because it would be like Sotenbori. Yeah, I remember that from Yakuza 0. I'm pretty sure this is the same bridge that you had the Stajun side quest at, where, like, there's a guy who needs to, like, cross the bridge without getting beaten up just because of the jacket he's wearing. Yeah, I like to think that most of the general populace hasn't completely turned on the Phantom Thieves. Uh, just a few of them did. But yeah, we've got a triple seven convenience store Hi, where we can buy, uh... Oh, hey, that's a revival item. Definitely want to grab that because it's essentially a full revive. And uh, that's where we need to go. Osaka's actually decently big. We've got whatever you need. Okay, that's just regular old Coco, not the revival form of Coco. Oh, here we go. Crab Empire. Oh, that's expensive, but we want that. Crab Hot Pot. Thank you. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. I also was here. It's not because I wanted to have food or anything. Uh, he's gonna have way more than one bite. What in heaven? Come again. And I'll try and make that recipe later. There's a little more to do. How's it going? Oh, big, uh, big Cootie Boy. Isn't that somewhere else? I think that's the diner in the original Persona 5. Oh, hey, it's a Mataru Kaja food. It's way more expensive than, um, than making goat soup or the Yutan burger, so I'm still gonna say that that one Big Bang is definitely the best. Okay, so some people think the Phantom Beasts are actually terrorists. I don't wanna say, I, I wanna say not everyone does. <laughs> well, that guy definitely does. The yellow yeah, people don't like the way the public opinion does seem to be, uh, uh, just flip very easily. Agility plus five is kinda cool. Yeah, Osaka, with that thing being like a comedy place, Osaka is definitely well known for its manzai comedy. Hence why a lot of comedians in Japanese media have, um, uh, Kansai accents, I think. In fact, uh, speaking of, like, like, Pokemon inspirations, so Osaka is, uh, the basis for Goldenrod City, uh, and in the Japanese version of the Pokemon games, uh, Whitney speaks with a Kansai accent, and so does Bill. Um, because, uh, because, yeah, they're both from that area. I don't think they really consistently localize that. Usually Kansai gets turned into Southern, because that's what happened with a lot of Hard and Ace Attorney. Hmm. 
Yeah, again, we are in Kanoe's home turf. Maybe outside of here, people aren't quite as uh, blind. Yeah, the funny man and the straight man, I think that's Boke and Sukomi. But the, the main thing that I mostly uh, know that from is the Manzai Birds minigame in Rhythm Heaven, which got cut from, like, the English version, and a lot of people kind of wish that it didn't. Um, but that's, it, it, it's the, the one that goes, like, something, it's like, like, they, they say a thing and the other one goes, hi, hi! Look it up if you haven't looked it up before, it's really fun. A lot of the puns are, like, really hard to translate, though. Is Morgana finally going to get sushi? Oh, I haven't had sushi in a little while. It's just that I, you know, with, you know, sickness, I don't want to go to a lot of the train sushi places. But yeah, that's two recipes. Quick travel cannot be used at this time. Hmm, that's a little suspicious. I'm not going to fully progress the story, but I do want to at least grab Zenkiki's request. Because it's a pretty important one. Also, uh, Shin Sekai means new world, and that's not ominous at all. Uh, yep, I believe that that, that tower says, Welcome to the New World. Whoa. And we have a giant pufferfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that statue. So this is... I know the statue for two reasons. Yeah, here's another definite virtual tourism kind of aspect of this game. Mm -hmm. The Billiken statue. I mostly know it because it's a demon in um, Devil Survivor 2. Mm. One of that special part, uh, I think it's a fiend there, which means that it can give you an extra turn for the cost of a lot of MP. Oh, right. What did you say? It's kind of funny though how we're still able to access Emma. <laughs> I guess uh, that whole trap thing, because they don't know we've escaped at this point. So Emma access is still up for us. <laughs> and oh boy, this is very indicative of real life society sometimes. Yep, technology addiction is a real thing. Then... I suppose that's good for me, running a YouTube channel, but still. Yeah, I basically mentioned this. Uh, Emma's still online for us because they still think we're trapped. Okay, let's do this. Uh, but again, before this, I would very much like to firstly check out the Billiken statue. Now, I did say there are two reasons for this. Rubbing Billiken's feet will bring happiness. Um, that's also the case for a statue of St. Peter in the Vatican City, which I actually did touch the feet of when I was there. Um, and you can tell because one of the feet is, like, very heavily eroded. But doing this is a free bond point increase. Okay, Yusuke's here. Okay, okay, Zenkichi is further up. I might not want to check out any of these shops just yet, because I do still really want to try and, and get that quest going. Hello, Velvet Room. Oh, okay, we've got another Force Velvet Room entrance. That makes sense. It appears your journey is finally entering its closing act. As for this man named Kanoe's ambition, all of the pieces have been gathered in one place. I thought for a second you were saying that his name is literally Kanoe's ambition. His heart must be truly warped for him to sacrifice the wills of others without hesitation. That kind of makes sense though, given that the, uh, you know, Pokemon Conquest is called Pokemon X Nobunaga's Ambition in Japanese, and the character designs were from a Warriors game. At this rate, even your futures may fall into his hands. Guess we're gonna have to seal back our future again. Indeed. I have no doubt you can do it. There is one more thing I must mention. I can only hope it will be of use to you. In all of the various jails across the country, 
I can sense the energies of powerful shadows. Oh, right, this. With no masters to serve, they have been left to wander the metaverse. Defeating them may allow you to carry them within your heart. Know that facing them is not necessary, though they will surely prove a great source of strength. So, optional super bosses. The thing with these shadows is, they are a little beyond us at this point. I want to put this off until probably the end of the Kanoe Jail, at the very least. Yeah, powerful enemies. You can obtain them as personas through fusion. The power of the wild card you carry may very well be this world's trump card. I mean, it's been that, like, how many times at this point? Like, one, two, three, then counting spin-offs even more? I suggest you make full use of your personas as you steal yourselves for the battle ahead. Hmm? Yeah, that just happens all the time. Yes. He's our savior. Oh yeah, admittedly the people here are all brainwashed by Kanoe, so it makes sense that they hate us. Hey. And yet another That's recipe. Me. Oh don't worry, we'll get your skewer soon enough. Welcome, come again. And here he is. Uh, that's not exactly what I was hoping for, though. Speaking of which, yeah, our own cooking is a lot better than what we find in restaurants, especially goat. <laughs> Some bread. See. I mean, admittedly, my cooking is kind of similar to this, but still. Hey, hey. It's chef time! So this time we have a friend-based request with Zenkichi. Yeah, Haru knows about vegetables and stuff, and yeah, Futaba mostly eats instant noodles, so she could definitely use a change. Damn it. <laughs> yes, please continue, Pokemon. We've been doing this the whole time! You should really be used to it by now. And so we have a new request. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to look for a present for Akane. Yeah, maybe Futaba will have some ideas. But okay, we uh, we actually have two additional requests right now. Yeah, and Evan God descends. That is one of those uh yep yeah, um powerful shadows. But we have cooking Papa Tsu, dinner with friends. Zenkichi, this is for my daughter Hasegawa. Yeah, that's his middle name, definitely. I'm gonna wait a little bit on bond experience for now because I think we'll be unlocking like a higher levels of lockpick soon. Ah, oh, this lady is like what this lady is wearing definitely reminds me of the Osaka Obachan, which is like a um uh Obachan is like aunties, but it's like a group of older women idols who are sort of spokespeople for Osaka tourism. Look up their songs if you haven't already. So Aha, we can buy crab! So we can buy up to three crabs, nice. Uh hi there. Oh, downcast stone. I thought there's a diamond stone. Well, I mean, I guess the castle's useless right now, so um, maybe that stone got the last laugh after all. <laughs> yeah, I like all these moments of Futaba getting a little bit better with her anxiety. I recently saw the Inside Out 2 trailer, by the way. I'm a little bit worried because Inside Out is my favourite Pixar film. Um, 
you know, no duh, because I love Persona. But, like, uh, the idea of, like, anxiety being the antagonist is admittedly quite interesting. We'll, we'll see where that goes, but I, I am still a little bit wary about, you know, because modern... I don't know, I've kind of fallen out of modern Pixar, just like I've fallen out of modern Disney. Please take your time. We have four-piece or six-piece Takayaki. Hey, welcome. Uh, this is actually quite decent for 100 HP. Dark Choco Matter. Sounds like a level in Super Mario Galaxy, honestly. And there is also a vending machine. Unfortunately, no SP drinks. Uh, okay, increase showtime. I'll take one of those, though. Some flan. I think, I think of two things when I think of flan. I either think of, uh, happy birthday, Rachel, here's some goo from friends. I, no offense cause to people, because I'm sure flan is great. But also, um, I think of, um, uh, you know, Final Fantasy and how Lulu just destroys flans in uh, Final Fantasy X, and she's, like, the main person optimized for doing that. I, I kind of like Final Fantasy X's every party member has a specific thing they're good at system. Except poor Kimari. <laughs> uh, Kimari is just the delivery boy for Ultima. And maybe him going into thief skills sometimes. Yeah, thinking about it, now I realize the reason why everyone here is disliking the Phantom Thieves is because they're within Konoe's brainwash radius, speaking of which, and that brainwash won't cure them. I like to think that if you try and use a brainwash cure on yourself when you're affected by, like, you know, a jail, um, you, um, you get unbrainwashed and then immediately get brainwashed again. But we have yet another recipe. So much cooking. I like how it's a different party member for each one. Thank you. So hopefully I'll be able to cook some of these because I do want those bonding points. What you looking for? Oh, I have never bad. actually had a grilled rice ball before. I wonder if that's any good. Ah, oh, blowfish. Uh, I know that like apparently if blowfish are prepared badly, oh hey, that's a revival, but that's insanely expensive. Wow. But um, but yeah. I know that if you, uh, uh, let's just say it has the exact opposite of a revival. I mean, I only know that from, like, The Simpsons, which is probably not true. Wait, no, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> I think that person just said, Phantom Thieves, my ass! Okay, now, if I talk to Haru here, there we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like we haven't really seen much of the Haru Morgana dynamic in this game, but she was kind of like the only person that he had a good dynamic with in the original, so I guess that that's kind of already been played out. Yes. Hmm. Or bonsai style cooking. Okay, local vegetables, also seafood. Hmm. Okay, and now we have a request. Now, hopefully this request will already be, like, done. Because I have a lot of groceries. You're doing this one? Uh, I just need tofu, okay. So I wonder if Sophie's shop is going to sell tofu. It would be amazing if that turned up in the sales. Oh, here we go, there's tofu. So now we can complete this. No, you'll probably be fine. Remember, we got your back. That's actually a Persona 4 song, not a Persona 5 song, but still. From Q2. <laughs> Let's go. Mission accomplished. Hopefully this isn't like a billion step recipe. But we do need to talk to Futaba now. And I'm not going to cook anything just yet, because I don't want to lose any of the ingredients for the Zenkichi cooking. I believe Futaba is close to Shinsekai Tower? Yep, she is right here. Hey there, Futaba. Now I can talk to you for the quest. No. Yeah, apparently being picky about food is kind of part of being on the spectrum. 
she hunted for top well, she's probably gonna be pretty harsh at these. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Zenkichi's definitely gonna get an earful of like, oh yeah, by the way, you suck! <laughs> Futaba is gonna turn into Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I think I'll let- is that an Iron Chef reference? I know that's a reference to something. I only know that because Royal Mithril's made that reference before. So, a new request has been added for Futaba. Now, I believe for this... Is this the review you're doing this one? Oh, well, yeah, we already have what we need. Kyoto Curry and Miso Ramen. Okay, let's do our best. Oh, yeah, and you actually have to turn it in from the request menu rather than from talking to Futaba. Normally, not needing to talk to the quest giver is quality of life, but here it actually tripped me up. Hey, hey. What? <laughs> She's also blushing, so okay then. Ooh. Futaba X Ramen confirmed canon. Complete. And, uh, double complete. Is it cooking time? Now, there is an amazing artwork of this lesson happening. I kind of wish we got to see it right now. We will actually get to see the side quest artworks later on in this game. They're not just relegated to side materials. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, washing hands generally a good idea before cooking. I, like, I noticed a dramatic decrease in the amount of times I got sick once I started washing hands before eating. And, like, I was, like, you know, teenage years when I learned that, so that's probably too late, but still. Mission accomplished. And that... Uh, trophy basically means that we've completed all of the friend requests now. And we also have a crap ton of bond of, of uh, bonding points at the moment. In fact, I don't think any of these unlock anything new. Ha. Huh. So maybe I should spend these bond points now. I suppose we can get this. Yeah, I thought that would be max. And that's max. And that's max. And and that spends all my bond points exactly. So yeah, we are definitely polishing this off. We've got quite a few things maxed out right now. And so, back to the van where we shall cook all of these recipes and get even more bond points and then go back and complete some requests within Akane's jail. Just taking care of the cleanup before we head into the actual uh the actual Osaka jail itself. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of new things. Oh, I need egg for that. Oh, I need egg for a lot of things actually. Oh wow, I have so many things here. Uh, let's try all bun- well, Okay, first let's just check out. Okay, cure status ailments. 60 HP for all allies. 80 HP and 40 SP. Marakakaja. Matarakaja, okay. Uh, the problem with that is it's generally harder to make than the goat meal. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Master Chef looks like we have to make 12 recipes for that. I mean, we kind of are at LeBlanc, sort of. <laughs> hey, Okonomiyaki is great. I had it once, but like with no egg. Holy shit. <laughs> is this for real? I think that counts as a for real. Okay, I need two eggs and one tofu. And I'm extremely broke right now. And they're out of tofu. So I'll have to do complete that recipe another day. But we can make Osaka sushi in that. I guess egg is involved in some sushi recipes. What in heaven? Meow. 
Oh no, you'll have crab later. I just need the tofu for that. This one? All done. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, Yusuke is eating very well right now, literally. I'm in your debt. <laughs> yes, we have successfully saved Yusuke forever. Now he owes a life debt to us. At level 38 born now. I suppose we can get more money. And yep, definitely, that one's maxed out too. Oh, I, I had not even saved since after Akane, wow. So we need to defeat, uh, defeat uh, Neko Shoguns with Phantom Dash and defeat Copper Tengu with Wolf. Uh, oh, nope, that's a Dire Shadow, nope. So for defeating Neko Shoguns with a Phantom Dash, it's best to go to the, uh, the Parting Square, uh, checkpoint. And from here, head through this one. There's gonna be a guy right there, but I'm gonna have to dash past him, hopefully. Okay, here we go. So we're in the Beckoning Cat Square right now. Now, I'm using just a, uh, uh, just one character for this. And also, you don't really want to open with an all-out attack. Because the prompt for an all-out attack is the same for the Phantom Dash, and that's going to make it kind of, like, you might end up using an all-out attack and not killing with the Phantom Dash, so it's generally better to just do this. Because we need to kill them with the Phantom Dash, not with the one more. I don't want the one more either. Okay, there we go. So we can complete that one. Now I don't need to go Joker Solo anymore. Okay, there are Copper Tengus here now. This is in the couple area, but spawn from the big one. Uh, here we go. We have now obtained Master of the Unt. Yeah, um, I don't know if this is actually meant to be a reference to Les Miserables, but I like to think it is. Increased HP absorption when Fury is not active. Uh, that's not a tank, you know it's not. It's just a cat. Uh, okay, yeah, that's probably going to complete this quest if I had enough... Uh, if I had enough HP, okay, here we go. And there we go, that's that done. New weapons available, new armor available, and now the last thing left to do is a Thief's Challenge Panther. I think it makes sense to play as her for this, although actually, no, it's easier to do these ones with Joker, because you need a really accurate and precise gun for these. Because trust me, you will need to use your gun a lot. These are like Batman's least favorite challenge. Well, actually, no, he'd ace them because he's good at stealth, but he, anyway. Uh, the random Batman reference is because I was just watching an overly sarcastic productions video about Batman. I need to get back to that after I'm done recording this. But okay, so, a Thief's Challenge Panther. Okay, no, we just need to, we need to go into the jail first up. And then we need to reach a certain place on the map without using fast travel or increasing security. Well, uh, if he hasn't, then we might be in trouble because the summer's gonna last forever. But okay, so, if I'm remembering right... Yes, it is at the end of the underground walkway. In fact, it's right back where we first met Sophia, or rather where Alice dumped us. So, to be totally safe, when you see any shadows, shoot them before they see you. As long as you take them out, you will not increase the security meter. And that's what Joker's gun is very good for. Long range and very accurate. You will usually get the drop on enemies before they get the drop on you. And that's going to be the theme for all the Thief's Challenge, well, challenges. Yeah, so here, this may be a little difficult. Yeah, probably best just to ambush anything immediately too. Thankfully, because this is an old jail, we should be able to like one-shot everything that we come across. Okay, there's another shadow between us and where we need to go, so another ambush. So across here, avoid the checkpoint because we don't want to walk, into the underground waterway, and we've been through this underground waterway a lot for side quests, they, they really like reusing this area. Yeah, so in here we now need to... Take this. Take this guy out. Or guys and girls, because, you know, pixies. And they're immediately dead. Take this. 
snipe you. See, I'd really like to use this opportunity to get Wolf's Master Arts, but I find yeah, Joker, uh, Joker's ambushes say. and, uh, I find Joker's gun a lot easier to use. Okay, they're done. Move through here. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go ahead and get these, because otherwise the security meter may have gone up. The annoying thing about these challenges is that, is that if you increase it even once, you have to start the entire thing again from the beginning of the jail. What's that? Okay, climb up here. Wait, it's over? You can see that tantalizing icon in the distance. Slowly advancing and shoot you up the hill. I mean, this should be obvious, but don't run from battles either, because that will also increase security. It's like, these feel like less a thief's challenge and more like an assassin's challenge, to use Fire Emblem class names, because you basically have to just silently kill everything you encounter. That's the real, like, you know, th these challenges follow the ultimate, uh, in, in, well, can't be detected if nobody's alive to report you. Okay, still a way to go. Getting closer. Yeah, Hello. That was over before it started. I should have taken a nap. Let's keep up the pace. Another one here. Getting pretty close. I think this is actually where we had Sophie's first fight before. Ah, good times. And from here on, there should be no more shadows. So we can run right over here. And GG, as Futaba says. Now we just need to get the heck out of here, and that kind of sucks because there's no dungeon escape item, and that means I have to walk all the way back. Um, are you double checking the request? More accessories available. Well, let's just check out what those are. Oh, auto buffs. Really good for Akihiko in um, Persona. Um, oh, well, I can finally buy this. We've had that on Joker the whole time uh, in Persona 3 Reload, but yeah. And also stat boosting things. Also null ailments, which is kind of cool. So, okay then, yeah, that's a lot of quests, uh, cooking, and basically what we need to do in... Actually, hang on a second. Wait. Have you restocked on Tofu? You have, okay. Well, I can end things off by cooking that one meal we weren't able to. Crab hot pot. I can even make two of them. You see, the best way to tackle this dish is to attack its weak points for massive damage. <laughs> and Yusuke's dead again. Yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Ah, unfortunately, no, no extra bond level up. So yeah, like I said, now we've done most of what we can in, in Osaka, so I'll see you next time as we head right into Kanoe's jail. Look forward to that, because it's going to be interesting, and also there's going to be an amazing song!